ericmoabitmother.com want to respond to the question whether this line here let's draw it somewhere so from here the question is whether this is positive divergence in other words I'm assuming this here now of course it is not positive divergence because positive divergence is this example where we have an improvement in prices excuse me an improvement in the RSI while prices were testing the lows so that is positive divergence an improvement in the technicals while prices either make fresh lows or retest so that is positive divergence also we can see another example here where we test the lows again but during the test of those lows we have another improvement or let's even say the RSI stays the same so the RSI doesn't make fresh lows we can also consider that to be positive divergence so again positive divergence is when we have a test of the lows while the RSI either improves or the RSI stays about the same so that is by definition positive divergence now your question can be actually this level here this line that you drew can be called reverse divergence and by that I mean you have prices let's see here we have an improvement in the RSI but prices make lower highs so this is a little bit of a different take where the RSI improves while prices make lower highs that is what is generally called reverse divergence and we can see also here there is an improvement yet again RSI making a low a higher high but prices come back and they really don't break out so this shallow pullback here corresponds with lower monthly closing highs or the same monthly closing highs while the RSI was showing an improvement so let me explain that here I'm talking about this period here an improvement in the RSI but prices pretty much closed at the same level which might explain why we get this shallow pullback before we break out so the line that we are discussing here that you are asking about is not technically you cannot call it positive divergence what you can call this line is reverse divergence line and you can learn about this just by doing a simple Google search frankly the names really of what the lines can be called or should be called should be relevant because as long as we understand what they are trying to suggest then it doesn't matter what names we give these lines the names are just there for convenience now I'd like to draw the same line and ex extend it into the future like that and also going backwards should be something like that in fact let me draw it from here same line pretty much now this line gives us resistance here with uniform activity for the highs there uniform activity rejection for the highs here we go above the line for a nice move higher here we break below the line and we drop here off the highs we come back and show uniform activity rejection here for this highs and then we have that re reverse divergence uniform activity rejection for the highs there we tag that level there for another reverse divergence for the highs there and then this is why it gets interesting because once we blast above that line and move above 69.1 
this movement here above the blue line and also eventually capturing that level above 69.1 you see that the prices explode here which also corresponds with the price breakout and as we discussed in the prior video this also meets the minimum requirements with the RSI breaking out to three-year highs MACD is moving to three-year highs also which is why we see this explosion in price since then and in fact we tested that same blue line here during the lows right here the lows of late 2016 so the same line has a lot of relevance as you go back all the way to where the RSI started being recorded in 2006 and still relevant as of right now the stock is above the blue line and above 69.1 which again explains this explosion in price action so to go back to your initial question the line here that we are discussing cannot be called negative or positive divergence line I think the best way to call it would be reverse divergence and again the names of the lines really don't make shouldn't be a problem or should not really be a bother what we call them is irrelevant it's just that we should be able to interpret and use the line to tell us what to do and we can see that this same line one single line gave us good entries and exits either on hindsight or even if you want to use this in real life real trading otherwise I'm gonna stop right there Eric Mwadith, mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see.